I've been using GNU store to manage my dot files ever since I discovered it but I just came across a even better tool called Shermwine. I hope that's how it's pronounced and today I'm gonna go through how you set it up as well as what uh, what uh, how it works and all of that. So first of all you can install it with your package manager if you go to your browser and open up shermwine.io which is where you have the install instructions. It's uh, available on Alpine, Arch, NixOS, OpenSUSE, and some other ones here. You've got Wood Linux as well. It's actually not available on uh, Debian, I think. So you have this installation as well, so you can just use that. And uh, I'm not sure about Debian. Yeah, there is a dev package for it, so it is available on Debian. That's pretty cool. And once you install it, it's pretty easy to set it up. Just open up a terminal here it up in shamoy init it's gonna initialize shamoy in dot local share shamoy so if i go there you can see that there should be nothing here i have added lots of stuff and it's easy to add a lot of stuff and you can just start adding your files so for example i want to add my uh, rofi configuration this is my rofi configuration so you can add uh, dot config for slash rofi and once I execute that command, it's going to add that to dot local share shamoy, which is where you have your shamoy uh, configuration files. So if I go here, you do pwd, and this is the file here. And this is actually a git repository. So it should have initialized a dot git folder. So you can see how there's a dot git folder there. And what we can do is just make a git repository. So you can go back to your browser, go to gitlab.com because github i don't really like it you can choose whatever you want actually so you can go to your profile click on new project you get the idea and then you can make a dot files repository there and then you can do a git add dot all of that just you need to actually do a git remote add origin then git at gitlab or github.com colon your username and then your the name of your repo in this case can be dot files i've already done that so it's gonna say this error but once you do that you can just keep adding these files and it's super simple you can just add like my kitty config and once you add these these are not gonna be sim links shamoy is just gonna copy them over so what it's gonna do is that it's just gonna copy them over and uh, updating them so for example i added my uh, rofi config here well, let's say I added my ZSC jersey. So I can open up the ZSC jersey. And not here. I can open up this in this. And here's my ZSC jersey. And let's say I want to add a comment in my actual ZSC jersey. So we can do Q like that. And we can open up our text editor and open up my actual ZSC jersey. And I'll add a comment here. I do something like uh, hello. Right? That's it. And this is not going to apply to this file here because it's not a sim link, obviously. And the way you sync your files and the git repository is just this command called shamoy re add. That's just going to sync stuff. So now if I re add that, I edit this, it's going to have that hello in there. So I can simply edit that and remove the hello because I don't want it. Let me quickly do that. And we are done. Now the most magical thing about shamoy is that setting up shamoy on another system on another fresh reinstall of Lin linux or arch linux or whatever distro you use it's super simple you can do it with two commands and of course that's not going to install some packages but you can just write a script for it and when you write a script it's just one command so i do actually have a script for this this is a project I've been working on for a while. I have mentioned this in a previous video. And what we do is that we can open up main.sh, which is where I have all of the uh, packages and all that. So you can see how this is a simple script. It just has these colors with functions for logs. And it's going to run start.sh, which is just this splash. And then it's going to run package.sh, which is going to remove some packages that we don't need then install other packages and the thing is the shamoy.sh which is where we actually apply our dot files all this is doing is cloning the repository with shamoy init and then the link to our repository 
and then you'll type in shamoy apply and it will just do everything for you you don't need to do anything else you'll just automatically apply everything so for example i can close this out i mean shamoy apply and this will apply everything and if it does actually give some errors you can just go uh, press o for overwrite to override all of that and it's just gonna apply your dot files that's pretty cool if you ask me so shamoy you should definitely check it out i think it's even better than snow stow and uh, this is what I've been using so far, so I can quite literally reinstall my distro, hop on into it, and maybe update my system, of course you gotta do that, and clone this repository called Envo, and I can run the script and will set up everything for me autom automatically, there's nothing I need to do, and that's the magic of Shamoy. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye bye.